hi friends welcome back to my channel and today we are going to see how to scroll to the particular element so we have many options that we can scroll but uh, today we are going to see how to scroll to the particular element with the help of javascript executor so let's start with that without wasting a time we'll just create a test method and you can see here javascript scrolling so i will just open a flipkart website and in the flip card uh, we will go at the bottom of the page let's say we have to go and scroll to this element cell on flip card so here uh, we will go and create uh, let's say cell element cell element and we'll go by x path tag name we don't know contains text equal to cell on what is the name flip card flip card single quote and you can close both this <coughs> so we have got the element now it's time to call the javascript executor driver i javascript executor then again we can just type cast that and here we can use the execute script and we are going to pass the element so here we can write arguments zero dot scroll into view and we can just write down here true and then uh, we can pass here the cell element and I can just have the weight so that you people can see the re effect so let's run it and let's see that whether it was able to scroll to the element or not so scroll into view is a javascript method and here you pass the true and false now what is the meaning of this true and false i will tell you in a second uh, you can just see whether it gets executed no what is the error okay let's see might be some spelling mistake okay it's capital o instead of small it will close the login and then you have seen that it has directly scrolled to the particular element now let's suppose i again want to go in the up section let's say i want to mm, scroll to this section deal of the day right so what you will do just copy this and here i will write deal of day element and we can go here deal of the day correct and here we can write the deal of the day element and now let me run it and it's not going to scroll up so reason why it will not scroll let me tell you
so you can see the test case has passed but we don't see the deal of the day right it was visible in the upside section like this so mean the scroll into view says into this uh, if we pass the true it means that it will search the element in the downward directions from the current position and if you say false it means the element is located in the top side from the current position so in both the cases it got executed but the main reason of true and false is that you have to pass in such a way that it goes in the upward direction or either it goes in the downward direction so you can see the difference if i say false that it's showing me the exact area and when you say deal of the day scroll into view true the deal of the day was not visible to me so when you click on that element it's going to show the error because element click is intercepted so try to have things that it's if you have got my point it get hides inside this menu bar or you can say toolbar of the flip chart so it's not going to work so you have to change it so this was the difference between the scroll into view true and false if you make it true it will go in the downward directions from the current position to locate the element and if you say false then it will go to the upper directions to search the element so that's all for the today's session hope you like it and till then keep enjoying keep learning